welcome back to my channel. So today I have a thrift haul. Yeah. So I went to Brick Lane and did some vintage shopping the other day. It was actually the day that shops opened. I wasn't planning on going. And then Eve and I were like, let's just go and be spontaneous. It was very fun. It wasn't actually that busy. I was expecting it to be super, super busy. And it really was not at all. And I got some bits to show you guys. And I think you're going to like it all. I have been vintage shopping like in store for so long, obviously. And I'm just so excited. I went to my favorite store, Vintage Paradise. And the the couple that run that store are just so so sweet and they actually gifted me and Evie quite a few pieces which was just so so nice and I'm just really excited to show them to you guys and I got some other bits too so it's kind of a big haul like yeah there's some really really cute stuff so I'm gonna go through it it's a try on haul it's gonna be so much fun and I'm gonna show you guys all of these pieces and I think I'm gonna do a video where I style it all soon but yeah let's just get started firstly I'm just gonna run through accessories I got these glasses not from vintage paradise from just another random like seller and they're like aviators I don't really know I think they looked really cool like with a mask on but without a mask I'm not sure because aviators aren't usually my style but I want Wanted some like big clear looking glasses but i think they're kind of cool i don't know let me know what you think they were 20 pounds which i think for sunglasses 20 pounds is actually really good but i don't know mm, they are good quality i think i don't really know they've got like dog hair all over them <laughs> so i got those i am going to run through this like kind of quickly because sometimes i just ramble on and on and on then moving on to vintage paradise i got two pairs of sunglasses i literally love this shape i genuinely think this might be my new staple i just wow they're really good at blocking out the sun but yeah i love the shape of those and i also picked up these nude ones too i love me and evie both picked these up they're really cool actually I don't have any nude sunglasses so i picked up both of these and then and they're actually selling like handmade necklaces now like beaded necklaces you guys know i love a beaded necklace and i picked up one that has like watermelon strawberries flowers smiley faces it's so cute look at that and finally for accessories i picked up this bag i don't know why it was really calling my name it's quite like 2000 style i feel like a bit naughties and i think it's really cute it's denim on the back so i feel like you could wear it either way very very cute okay now on to the clothes i don't even know where to start this corset i have no words no words at all it's like a denim embroidered corset top this was literally 20 pounds like their prices are just incredible and it's really like reminded me of britney spears like denim moment i actually did a 2000s inspired like outfits tiktok and it's really funny not funny but the outfits are really good i think so check it out if you want to see i included a lot of this stuff in that um but yeah i'm trying to like show you guys i'll show you in the try and clip better but it's like embroidered flowers I just love the denim and I think it's such a look I really don't know what ways I'm gonna style it like would with the denim skirt like would it look weird I don't know if it would look odd with the denim skirt maybe just like some black trousers let me know in the comments because you guys always come up with good ways to style stuff so next up I almost didn't pick this up and I'm so glad I did because it's one of my favorite pieces it's a Morgan de Troyes long line denim skirt and it's just so cool I don't know I love it so much I don't know because long denim skirts can be odd fitting but i do think it's so cool with trainers it kind of reminds me of like mimi's fashion i feel like she would wear something like this i don't know and i thought with like a little baby tee but not like a modern baby tee an old one that kind of cuts like this do you picture my vibe like chunky flip-flops like a true 90s noughties look i just love it so so much and i'm so glad i picked it up i feel like the ones that you're not that sure on end up being your favorite item okay next up another one of my absolute favorite things this is a denim corset it's got floral cups with lace i just think it's like very milk maidy i don't know i just love it and it fits pretty well <laughs> hair is so long i'm getting a haircut tomorrow finally and i'm dying i'm so excited i just love it it's really really cute i again what would i style it with maybe like light wash denim jeans something blue so cute and they have a try on cubicle what a changing room that's the one i was trying to think of so obviously corsets you want to check that it fits perfectly so that's really good i feel so sick right now i'm very hungover <laughs> 
I'm like pushing through the hangover trying not to think about it. Okay, next up, this mesh top. I almost also didn't pick this up and I love it. I think it's going to be such a good staple. I've already worn it quite a few times. And it's like this blue, it's like mesh long sleeve with like a lettuce edge on the bottom. Like cutouts here on the sleeve. I just think it's really, really cool. I think this is just going to look really cute with just some denim jeans, my afghan coat. Super simple. Like, you know when you can't be bothered to put together an outfit but you still want to look put together and cool? Um, and this is like super on trend too. They have some really like trendy pieces, some really unique bits. This sounds like an ad. It's not, but I love her. Okay, next up we have this milkmaid top, which it's going to be hard to show you. Oh my gosh, this will genuinely take me hours to put on. Like, oh, it's really hard to show you. It looks so cute on. I personally love it. I just love this milkmaid like is the word broidery no that's just short for embroidery isn't it <laughs> i don't even know i just love this top really cute give me milkmaid vibes again maybe i just want to be a milkmaid like apparently next up we have this jane norman dress and again 20 pounds like it's all really 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 well priced and let me just try find the front it's like this brown kind of i don't know what the print is like palm floral not really floral like leafy it's like v-neck and then it's got this brown like o button here and it's really cute it's kind of a tiny bit long but i just hitch up and it works really well it's really nice fitting it's like cotton lightweight again i think this with like those chunky flip-flop pavianas i got like so much hate not even hate but so many messages like that's not how you say pavianas and they are probably right but i just you know when your parents have said a word like one way your whole life i was like i never even read pavianas to like see how to say it which is probably really dumb anyway I'm sorry if I annoyed people by saying that wrong. It was not my intention. Um, but yeah, love her. Next up, we have this corset. It actually just fits really nicely. That's kind of the main reason I got it. It is obviously like really pretty. It's quite sexy, but you can't see your nipples through it, which is really good. Um, we probably can, but I can't see mine through it, so that's good. And it's just like this lace. It's not too sexy because sometimes corsets can be like loads of bows, all of that. And it's kind of a lot. It's not really my style as much. Whereas this is like quite understated for a corset. I don't know if a corset's understated or what. Super sexy. Can't wait to wear this like clubbing. I just think with some low-waisted denim jeans maybe. But yeah, it just makes my boobs look really good if I say so myself. I think they look quite juicy <laughs> in it. <laughs> So I love it. And the final thing I got from Vintage Paradise is this top. Now, this is just like uh, exercise. I don't even know what it is. Like a little stretchy vest. But it's just so comfy and so cute. I don't know why I love it so much. It's a tiny bit see-through on the nipples. But I don't actually care about people seeing my nipples. Like, it's a nipple. Get over it. That's my opinion anyway. But yeah, I love it so much. It's got like little holes. So I actually genuinely think I would wear this to the gym with a sports bra. Because you can look cute whilst working out. But but reality is I'm probably not going to be going to the gym so we'll just wear it at home <laughs> or going out and that is everything I got from Vintage Paradise I got a couple more bits literally three items so I'm going to run through them quickly so I got this from Serotonin Vintage and this is probably one of my favorite things I got this is from Dolce & Gabbana and it's basically like a halter neck bright patterned printed top and I actually am in love with this so so much so it's just super soft like toweling material and it's got this denim pocket which i just think is so unique i just love it really i think it's a really really cool like statement piece and i was so excited when i found it next up i got this from rocket it was 15 pounds and i'm not really sure where i spent that much on it just because i don't know if i'll be able to actually wear it as a top which is how i wanted to wear it but maybe i'll wear it as like a sarong i could try do that twisty top thing but i don't know if i'll be able to do that i just really like the pattern very 70s and finally I got one of the turtle bags so basically it's just to be honest for when I go to Tesco's and also I think it looks really cute as well but it's just like a reusable bag I don't like to go get the plastic bags obviously and this actually looks like cute like part of your outfit so I got that and that was seven pounds yay so hopefully you guys like everything that I bought I had so much fun going to town I wanted to vlog it but then I was like no I'm just gonna enjoy it because vlogging I always forget to vlog when I'm out and about and I knew if I was vlogging and tiktoking and 
shopping all at the same time would be too much. Such a hard life. I know, honestly. <laughs> I am being sarcastic. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much to Vintage Paradise for gifting me some bits. I really would recommend their store. I'm not just being biased. Me and Evie have shopped there so many times that we've just booked this friendship with the couple and they're just so, so sweet. So if you do go there, definitely let them know that Evie and I sent you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.